everyone, welcome to another episode of Call of the Sea. This now puzzle Aldrich horror game? Things are starting to get a little bit spooky and scary. Oh, uh, here's another a bit of the torn up hell. We think that this uh, ship here was destroyed by a massive sea creature. You can see by all the claw marks. It's um, a little bit scary. Anyway, we turn on the lights for this new place, so let's have a look at it. Let's have a look at it. Hmm, these symbols are linked to the piano keys. Alright. Wow, look at the size of these stones. Yeah, those are massive stones. South Pacific Expedition. Megalithic Basalt Stones. Okay. What kind of doodad is this? Okay, it has an on and off button with some things. We do have the... we have the frequencies, so we just played... We, we played the notes on the piano and then we got frequencies, so we had to play this. So it gave us like a bunch of frequencies that correspond to these notes. And we don't know when that's gonna happen. We we don't know it's well tuned. I expected no less from you, old pal. We we don't know what it means or what it kind of suggests to. You, but we do have some floating stones, which is new. Just checking to see if there isn't anything over here. Oh, there's a crumpled bit of paper over there. That's... Son of a bitch DeWitt stabbed Frank. Luckily it was just a flesh wound. It's a good thing they hadn't held me back or would have plugged that nutcase like a rabid dog that... Jesus, what am I saying? Alright. I've never seen Harry so angry. I was very angry. Okay, we've got more of these stones and here's Rock one that's floating. stained with black ooze looks like the prototype of something a prototype of something okay we got tide level measurements i hope you didn't borrow this slide projector from the university of denver old pal we don't know what this is related to we know that these things are the piano the piano keys but we're not entirely sure we're not entirely sure what they do and what this corresponds to. So this shows like various levels of this diamond filling up and then like the keys basically and the order that it should be played in to regulate the tide levels. I'm really not sure. Um, like I think that this is what it means. You always did have a good ear, Harry. I've been studying the structure for the last few days. The tones it emits change consistently with the tides. Oh, so the tides change the tones, not the other way around, we think. Huge. How can someone build something like this out of stone? Yeah. Huge pipe organ. Is the sea as the basalt structure? Waves push air through the carved stone tubes, creating different sounds. Okay. Your pipe organ. Good to know. Captain Hodgson told me that knowing the lunar cycles is useful for better navigation at night. So Harry probably took this calendar from the Lady Shannon. Alright, so we have new moon and full moon. Um, so they were here in July and we are now in November. Okay. What day in November are we? Oh, there's all of these things here. Alright, so this is stuff that we haven't done yet. Yeah, November the 7th. And today is the new moon. Okay, so we kind of uh, put this into our journal here. Okay. Okay. 
more scratched out stuff a fallen light okay let's go up these stairs and see where it takes us there's some more stairs over there but don't quite know how to get there Sometimes I still doubt whether this isn't just some ghastly dream. I don't blame you. Are those floating rocks over there? And then we can still see these weird fish things. Oh. This is starting to get really creepy. It's curious, but it's the first time since I got sick that I feel useful. Harry is depending on me, and not the other way around. Oh, fair enough. Alright, we have another mural. What odd structure. It doesn't look like a building, though. No, it might be that pipe organ. It does look like it. From the drawing that Harry made. But I don't see the actual pipe organ. There's also this structure that is chilling in the middle of the... that was found in the middle of the... Um, island. See this illustration here. There, this one. It's the same kind of structure. Okay, we can't go behind it, and I do see some stairs going up there, but we can't reach them right now. So I think with that, we can go onto the ship and see what's going on there. Seeing this key thing from here is interesting. Very interesting. Okay, to the ship. We'll figure this out. I think when we have more clues. So, again, just uh, a repeat from our previous episode. We had some technicality problems with the recording uh, earlier. So, uh, some of these things are some things that I've played before and I'm just um, redoing them now. I'm terrified. I've always been afraid of storms, but something or someone seems to be moving there on the reefs. Yep. Or is it just my imagination? It totally looks like someone's moving there. Okay. Let's get back to the ship. things but this is just a point and click adventure we do not need to press e so up the ladder we go and we are going to go through this door that voice is that harry no just a recording. The Lady Shannon has run aground. Its crew is unaccounted for. So five of us have survived, but we're stranded on this island. Please send help immediately. All right, I'm just going to switch that off. What were uh, you looking for in the heart of the island? I was thinking this expedition had failed and was worried about how we'd get back home. But then I found those stairs that led me to that giant stone organ. It might be another way to get to the very heart of the island. In any case, there's nothing we can do until someone hears our distress call. Okay. This is the first time we've heard about the heart of the island. Interesting. Apparently, Harry's expedition waited for a long time to be rescued. Did they give up hope? 5, 10, 15... 20, 25, 30, 32 days, like just over a month.
Frank is certainly a resourceful man. I've wired up your message to the radio like you asked Mr. Everhart. It will keep broadcasting as long as the ship's got fuel. God help us. Shame, he just got stabbed and he's helped out with this distress message. Ship logs. Even the crew of the ship that brought Harry's expedition to this island were afraid of it. June the 30th, 1934, we delivered the six members of the Everhard expedition to the island without incident. We'll come back to pick them up again in three weeks, if there's anything left to pick up by then. 1240, left the island after lunch, no incidents. The next day at 6am, the area seems to be adequate for whaling. We might get a good catch. Hmm, this is the captain's last entry. July the 14th, that's two weeks later. Good weather and clear sailing until a surprise undercurrent shook the ship. I haven't seen the sea that rough in years. 12.75 p.m. First mate swears he saw a huge sea creature near our hull shortly afterwards. Definitely not a whale. Okay, so that must be the thing that attacked them. Hmm. The ship was whaling not far from here. Ah, whaling. Look at all these islands around here. There's so many. So many islands. Maybe the legend is more real than it seems. On the islands of Panapi, there is a city called Nan Modal that's composed entirely of large basalt structures. Legend has it the city was built with floating stones moved by black magic. Uh, black magic must be the ooze and the floating stones. We've seen the floating stones. But the whole city. Okay. Uh, we've got some more floating stones and this thingy. These knobs must control the vibrations inside this chamber. Okay. Right. Okay. So that's the right height. I see. Okay, let's turn that down a little bit. There. What does this knob do? There. Oh, this is complicated. There. Okay, we need to find a way... Does this move it up? No, these move these two down. That moves it up. So you need to be a little bit more down, so you two can be up. A little bit up. up a little bit. This needs to be up there. I'll find it. We will figure this out. Wait, what if I just switch it off? Uh, okay. Let's turn these back to like the lowest settings. So this moves these two up and that moves at the same time. Okay. This moves those two up and they move at the same time. Oh, I see. What if I do this and move them halfway? I want to move. 
of these two together. at the same frequency. Come on. It's one. Yes! I better write down those numbers in my journal. All right, those are frequencies. Okay, and they correspond to the notes of the piano. Excellent, okay, I like that. Nice. Solved another puzzle. The black ooze's properties are perplexing. Black ooze test changes consistency slash levitates when exposed to different vibration frequencies. Okay, so we figured out what the vibration frequencies are here. Everything and I was completely covered in that black goo. I wonder what it'll do to me. Everything on this rotten island has something to do with that black damn, damn black ooze in one way or another. Even Mr. DeWitt's irrational behavior seems to be related to his getting exposed to that awful liquid. Okay. So the black ooze is connecting everything. Okay. Is there anything else that we need to interact with here? Or something that we need to find out? No. Okay. So this is kind of new territory. Can we open this? Alright, let's go back down to the shore. Now there's one area in the shore that I have not explored yet. Only God knows how long I've been covered in this black liquid. I wonder what it's going to do to me. Although I doubt anything could be worse than my illness. Well, maybe turning into a sea monster might be worse. Just, just a little bit. Okay, what we haven't explored yet is this... Oh, calm down, Storm. Is this little area off to the side of the beach. There is a thing, some more tents, and a wrap. Okay, so let's figure out what's Some happening. kind of improvised workshop. Indeed. This must be the highest part of the island. And that diamond shape again. How striking. Oh, very striking. You made it work, Harry. Now it's my turn. Good morning, crew. Sorry for the reveal this morning. I didn't expect to wake you all to be up with the noise from that awful organ. The good news is that the organ revealed the entrance to a temple. Bad news is, is that the temple is on the mountaintop, so I hope you're in the mood for a good hike. <laughs> all joking aside, if the temple has the answer that I'm looking for, we can finally leave this damn island and go home. Thank you all for sticking with me. Okay, so we need to also pump up the organ and open up the temple. Okay, it's a strange noise. Maybe it's just coming from a bowl. So this is the reason the ship was scavenged. Frank, if we want to enter the temple on the mountaintop, we will have to reproduce the effects of the organ somehow. I know we weren't planning on this, but we'll have to build a machine with whatever we can lay our hands on from the Lady Shannon. Do you think we could do that? This is different paper as well. This isn't from his personal thing. This is particularly on the expedition pamphlet. What kind of machine were you building? Sharp metal, piece of the mast, tubes, screws. Low torch. Looks like it's been used a lot. Okay, probably from like welding things. That's a nice old timey blowtorch. Harry isn't usually very chummy, but he really seems to like Frank. 
Frank, great idea. We'll move the materials we need to the summit so we can set up camp there. Just another thing. Please stop calling me Mr. Everhard. Call me Harry, as all my friends do. Oh, we are friendies now. That's nice. Okay, so I think that this ramp is going to take us up to the place where we need to do the organ. Some more metal. Is it the place where we need to go up? I'm also just following this area. Let's see where this goes. Okay, this just leads to other things. Okay, it's a dead end. Oh, but there's a buried photo here. A burned photo. I can't make out what's in it. Why is it burnt? That's weird. That's very weird. It looks like some sort of structure, but who burnt it? Scratch marks are scary. Okay, let's go up the ramp. When I get back home, I'm going to read up on engineering. I've been interested in knowing how things work since I was a child, but I always thought technology wasn't for me. What nonsense. Well, technology certainly is interesting. Okay, we've come up to next area. The lights are kind of guiding us along. Is there anything on these like crates? There's a lot of crates that this expedition was with. They had something to eat here. That huge stone door looks like an exit. How does it open? Where's our organ? Oh look. This ornate structure certainly isn't natural, but not man-made either. No. There's our key. Or the big structure thing. Uh, this feels ominous. Yeah, it does. Another one of these eye things. Oh, okay. That shifts. Oh, is this the organ? Yes! My word. Okay, it's, these correspond with these, and there's black ooze connecting them. Oh. Okay, so this turns that thing. Okay, we'll we'll fiddle with that now. Just figure out what's going on with the rest of it. Must be instructions to operate this bizarre structure. Tuning this organ by opening and closing the right tubes. Okay, we've got tubes. We do have tubes. Oh! I just want to go down these stairs. Okay, there's more things to open and close here. Oh, hello. Those symbols seem to indicate the height of the tide. Indeed. So we're at almost empty here. Okay. So let's set this. We're at the full moon right now. Yes? Seventh, and our calendar tells us it is. Oh, it's the new moon, right? The sea level is that. I'm just double checking the the date. Yeah, November the seventh, new. So this is at new right now, and it is at a water level. I'm really not sure what this means. Two sixty two is that one. 
349 is that one and 415 is that one. They... No, they don't entirely correspond with the things. I think I need to go back. I need to I need to go all the way back to that tent. Or do I? It might be that I have all the information I have with me now. So we need to open the three the one with all the three dots. Okay, that's two dots. That's a line through. That's a square. Yeah, three dots. No, no. no. That one was open. Right. This one is closed. Oh, is this diagram telling me what's open and what's not? So if I go like this, does it change? It does. Okay. So that isn't the clue. That is not the clue. I think we need to change it according to this. So let's try that. We need the... Oh, maybe it's at the beginning. Okay. Opening. Then we need a 349 hertz, which is the four diamonds, I think that's here. Yeah? Yes. And then we need 415, which is the one in half. That one is, this one is in half. What are we missing? Oh. Uh, Oh dear, okay, hang on. Three, okay, so this one with the little diamonds, but not the one with the triangles, okay. If you diamonds are triangles, you are triangles. You don't need triangles, close the triangles. Okay, let's push the button. Let's see. No? Sixty-two, three forty-nine, and four fifteen. This is wrong. Okay, I want. I need to go all the way back to that um, tent with the slideshow. Because that's going to give us a. That's going to give us an indicator. Quite scared of storms. 
When I was a child, I used to cover myself with the sheets to not listen to the noise of thunder. I honestly doubt I'd like to cover myself with anything in here. Time to overcome my fears, I guess. I used to do the same. My dog also used to be really scared of storms. He used to preempt us when a storm was coming because he used to sulk by the back door. Um, he used to sulk by the back door and that was him wanting to come inside. So we let him inside and then the two of us would, would be scared together for the storms. Okay. I think this is the right one. This is the right one? Write it down. Okay. Well, let's see if that actually worked. We're going to find out next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Um, comment about you know what your favorite puzzle is so far. You can also subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more episodes of Call of the Sea. Thank you so much for watching.